Hello, dear friends, and welcome to another video. As you can see, we are in the kitchen uh, because we are not cooking anything. The thing is that it is two o'clock at night, and uh, I did the video, as I promised, to show you how to do your own, by your own, the fuse on your battery. But I forgot to do a short introduction, so yeah. Here we go, we are doing it in my kitchen because I'm already home. So, today I'm gonna show you how to replace properly the fuse on your battery. This uh, can be done by a DIYer and uh, can be done by shops. I know many of uh, my customers and many of uh, you guys that emailed me you're trying to do a fuse replacement with um, hot hot gun. So it's not the case. The fuse is uh, the the top of the fuse is made out of plastic, and when you replace it and you put the new one in place, you ruin it with the hot air station. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the fuse properly. Also, please please follow me because i'm gonna have many many more videos regarding bikes regarding electric cars regarding pvs and stuff because i do repairs for a long time and i see easy easy tricks to make them work again without much struggle so i want to share that with you maybe in the future will help you so uh also, I want to talk with you. Some, some of you, they're sending me batteries for repair. In order for me to repair and send you the battery back, you need to leave me some details so I know whose battery is that because I'm getting many batteries. Today, I just uh, fixed about 40 batteries to customers. So imagine if 20 30 batteries ending up at my door and i don't know who is who so please <laughs> send me an email because i got your address and i don't i don't have your phone number to phone you so if you don't uh, remind me what's your address i don't know who are you to send you the battery back so watch the video and uh, especially shop repairs is uh, I'm very lazy, so I do it very easy uh, replacement. So always learn from a lazy guy. So let's go. Head to finish fuse replacement. So we have a battery and I am doing over these batteries because I don't have time, but I want to show you head to finish how to replace the fuse. Let me turn the hot air station first on. So you're gonna need a hot air station. So this video is not for DIYer. Or if you are a DIYer that have a hot air station at home, that'd be good. Okay. So this stuck take it off slide this off yeah this looks a bit scuffy but we take these off we need a knife cut here go straight on the edge don't cut any components here. Same here. So we need to remove this and have a visual look on these resistors here. Make sure they're not brown. I can see this had a fuse blown in the past. So this MOSFET normally I replace it. Now 
because I found the base problem. I don't replace them anymore because not these are the problem, is the charging. So here we have charge side, discharge side. So between charge side and discharge side, when charge is happening, all the power goes through this MOSFET. If this MOSFET is overwhelmed, like happened before, voltage start rising here. These resistors start, power start overflowing through these resistors in the discharge side. And this goes, so this is rated for 4 amp. That charger put 6 amp. So that's a big problem there. Okay, so this part, it gets damaged, plus these diodes here as well gets damaged in time. But here, I can see it looks good. It's been replaced before, so I think this special because it had fuse replaced and blown again there's an issue there so that charger needs to go a bit down because it's putting too much amp so i'm gonna put the thingy so i hope that you see i'm sure that you see so is open line is 31 ohm okay and is open line so to make sure just pop this off but actually i don't i don't want to pop it off because i want to show you something so yeah this fuse is gone so i can see it popped this to this is open line this to this is 31 ohm okay so let's get it done I'm just moving a bit closer watch what happens when i put the hot air over sorry my mic is in the way i think you hear bad so once i um, heat up this resist this uh, fuse you can see is plastic so i remove it with the hot air but i do a mistake now do this before you don't want problems to overseat heat yourselves so i use this protection to keep myself cells unharmed by the hot air gun so heat up this fuse come on come on fucker yeah come on i saw it okay so now I turn my iron on, measure again, open line, open line, open line. So I have no short everywhere. Sometimes I do red prompt on ground. This is continuity and it's good, should be around 1016, it's a bit low. 36 is a bit low, so is a problem here. Look, let's see another one. So, open line 76 with 0.589589 voltage drop. Let's see another one. 
want to see the voltage drop red probe on ground 585 584 58 so this voltage dropped 45 is a bit low so I can see it has a lot of voltage drop on the fuse side this is normal this is thousand so one volt 138 volts voltage drop and these one I test them a good 173 so it might be this MOSFET we're gonna see so let's do the the fuse change there's no short so it's a bit of voltage drop a bit less so a bit less means that is something affected it doesn't close the circuit so good so let's I'm gonna show you how to replace this fuse I'm very lazy so the way I do it is very easy so I take some of the extra extra solder we don't need that much solder we need this solder here this we need to make sure that that's there we clean this very good we get our fuse some kids playing with the ball outside we get our fuse make sure this is here this is here so we put it in here make sure it's straight in the middle i didn't put any excess here i have only excess there and i'm gonna use the tweezers to keep this in place so i'm gonna use tweezers hold it and So I have this solder here, it's not moving, which is good. So I had the over voltage side soldered only first. And now I'm going to solder this. I'm going to preheat, just put a bit of solder. And that's it. You don't need to go crazy because and this is how you replace the fuse so didn't take too much now yeah actually we leave it back on diet mode we make sure we have full continuity on this side and we have 29 ohm with 29 roughly could be 30 31 28 so this is how we replace the fuse properly so there's no short nothing I'm a bit concerned but what I didn't show you so this was already a blown fuse so who did it did it right replace it right so I'm gonna show you now after you remove the fuse look you can see here clearly you just take a bit of scraper and you scrape a bit this side so it needs to be really sharp if you don't scrape like this or some extra your fuse I'm gonna show you here your fuse will go over and you don't have access with the iron to stick it in so you need to make these bit wider 
because this was made with the hot plate in the when they made these they made it on the hot plate so they it goes automatically through the oven and it gets stuck on the board you need to do it only with the iron if you do it with a hot gun you're gonna melt the head this is plastic you're gonna ruin it and uh, yeah you don't need to ruin this you need to make these a bit wider put a bit of solder here first solder the over voltage side here make sure it's good and then solder the sides you're good to go so I have it soldered I test the with the continuity to see if I have continuity and it's good now I'm going to put it on charge and see I'm just lowering the amps now I'm just going 0.5 amp Yeah, so you might need reset. I don't want to open my computer, just manually reset it. Six seconds there. And yeah stable yeah so it's charging steady <laughs> 0.7 amp <laughs> but yeah it's good so yeah this is how you do it we have a successful repair It might be this affected, but I will lower the voltage into the charger and uh, we'll go from there. So we have a successful repair. Thank you very much. This is how you properly change the fuse. Have a great day.